Hey everyone, it's Mike and Dan. We're here with our beer draft. And uh, today, Dan, this is what we're going to be drinking, right. is this beer from Cloister Ondex. Ondex? Ondex. Some word in German. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's a Ondescher Doppelbach Dunkel. And we know you like the Doppelbox. I do. Uh, we reviewed that Troganator yeah. uh, earlier this year. Make sure you check out that video. But here we've got a real German Doppelbox. So yeah. I'm interested to try this. So this is a, another beer that's brewed by monks, mm -hmm. as a lot of these beers from Germany are. This brewery has been in operation since 1455. Right, it's a lot of history there, too. Definitely a lot of history. It's the monks' biggest business. Um, you know, these monasteries, they have to be self-sufficient. That's right. So selling it to Americans like us, great way to support their, their uh, enterprise there. Mm -hmm. So this isn't uh, a seasonal beer. It's available all year round. The ABV on it is, their website says, over 7%. So it's somewhere between 7 and 8. Yeah, something like that. But what I thought was really interesting was um, the original recipe for this beer was 18.5%. Dang. So that was quite the... How do you make a beer 18% ABV? I don't know. That's a lot. It's probably not legal beer. anymore, and that's why they don't yeah. do it. Uh, but why don't you go ahead and crack that open? Right. And so um, I'm using this uh, kind of Stein-looking mug today because... When I was on their website, they had it in a beer stein. I think that's probably something we need to invest in is a true beer sure, stein. Absolutely. I mean, we do drink a lot of German beers around here. Now they have about eight other beers that we'll have to check out someday. Volberhell, Spatulhell, Bergbachhell, Export Dunkel, Wiesbeerhell, and Wiesbeer Dunkel. And I'm probably butchering that's that right. pronunciation, so sorry to any German watchers out there. German is a hard language to, <laughs> to learn. All right, let's take a look at this. So quite a bit ahead on that beer. It seems every pour I do, yours ends up with uh, more head than mine. Hmm. Could be the glass that Could we're be. using. You've got a little bit more of a, a curve on that, but you it's can really see that clear. very clear ruby color. Yeah, I would say coppery. Almost red, yeah. And the smell is a lot of malt. Oh yeah, definitely, for sure. You can smell that malt right off. It smells really thick. So um, what they suggest that this beer should be smelling like is soft roasted accents and a nuance of dried fruit carrying a vein of caramel. Hmm. Yes, yes, and yes. Yeah, I definitely get the caramel, and I think that's from those malts mm -hmm. being toasted. Are you smelling a fruit? I don't know. Maybe uh, if I'm really looking for it, now that you mention it, I can kind of trick myself into thinking I smell some fruit. <laughs> as far as it's when you drink this... it a sweet smell to it there somewhere. Probably oh, yeah? from the alcohol, I think. So they say when you drink this, it should be mouth-coating and velvety. So All right, let's, let's see. Uh, let's see. All right. I can see the mouth coating. It's oh, got a yeah. really smooth taste to it. It is smooth, but a lot of aftertaste on that. Mm. Like I'm still tasting that beer after drinking it, and that's probably that mouth coating feel. Mm -hmm. It's actually mm. a little more bitter than I would expect a double bock to be. So yeah, what, they're, what they were saying on their website is you'll get a sweetness, a roasted co uh, cocoa, and a light bitter hoppiness. Okay. So I think it must be from the hops that they're using. I that think that's it's a good balance too, because I know a lot of times with these stronger beers, that sweet alcohol taste can kind of overpower some of mm. the other flavors. Mm -hmm. So I think having that uh, hop bitterness at the end kind of helps balance it. But I don't think I'm getting a lot of an alcohol taste on it. Mm -mm. So, so even though it's what, over 7%, mm -hmm. It doesn't really taste like it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what are you thinking about this beer compared to other Doppelbox we've had, the single box that we had earlier? I think it's, it's definitely good. I like it. Um, compared to the single box we, we reviewed in the last video, 
I kind of like that one more. It had a little bit more flavor. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. Uh, a little bit lighter as well. Yeah. And that beer was 7.7. .7. Right. So same ABV, mm -hmm. but a much lighter feel, and mm -hmm. I like that a lot. So uh, it looks like this beer was be uh, brewed under those German purity laws as well. The ingredients are water, barley malt, and hops. That's all you need. Uh, well, and a little yeast. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> But they don't, uh, th this might be one of those beers that they open air ferment. Mm -hmm. You've probably heard about that with some of those um, monastery brews. So back when they made those purity laws, they had no idea that yeast was what was responsible for creating the alcohol. And it was just because they were um, fermenting them in open air mm -hmm. tubs. It was collecting the, the wild yeast. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. But uh, overall, I, I think I like this beer. Um, not quite so much as the Troganator. You prefer the Troganator? I, I like the Troganator, and that could be my American palate. Could be. But yeah, that Troganator was good. Yeah. But this is a good beer too. Um, definitely like it. I don't know that I would buy this particular one again, mm -hmm. but I would be interested in trying their other varieties. Sure. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the German beers. I don't think I've had this brand before, but yeah, I'm definitely interested in seeing what else they have available All right. here in the States. Sounds good. Well, maybe in a future video, we'll be reviewing some other beers from uh, Cloister on Docks. Uh, but until then, make sure you check out our other beer reviews. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you can see all of our reviews in the future. And until then, we'll see you next time. All right. See you.